Hi friends. Our today's special is Kerala style boneless chicken curry in coconut gravy. It's best with a pim, putu or puree. So let's start. And if you are watching our videos for the first time, please consider subscribing to our channel. This YouTube channel is a part of a blog that is trying to collect and preserve local traditional recipes for the next generation. So each like or share you are giving will make us more confident to do more videos like this. First of all, we have to marinate raw chicken with turmeric powder and salt. Keep it marinated for about 10 minutes. Next, we will cook it well and we will remove bones. We require 2 cups of boneless chicken. Don't throw away the stock water. Keep it aside. We need it for gravy. Now we will prepare the coconut masala paste. For that, we will heat a teaspoon coconut oil and we will add 1 and 1/2 cup of grated coconut and roast it for 2 minutes. Next, we will add coriander seeds. Almost quarter cup coriander seeds added. Next, we will add a teaspoon black pepper to the coconut and roast it for few more minutes. Now we will add the skin cardamom. We need almost three to four cardamom pods. Next, we will add a teaspoon fennel seed. Two inch cinnamon into pieces and four to five cloves, and sauté everything well. When the mixture becomes brown in color we will grind it to a paste. Add enough water and grind it to a nice paste. Next, we will heat a tablespoon coconut oil in a pan. We will add 2 teaspoons crushed ginger and garlic and saute it well. Add sliced onions and saute the mix for few minutes. When the onion cooked halfway we will add sliced green chilies and tomatoes and cook it for few more minutes. Next, we will add the masala powders. Quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons chili powder and 1 teaspoon garam masala. You can adjust the level of spiciness as per your taste and preference. When everything cooked well, you can add coconut masala paste. Add it and combine everything well. Add enough salt and mix well. Here we added some Kashmiri chili powder for extra color. You can skip the step. We will use the chicken stock as water content for gravy. You can add extra water if you wish. Let it boil. Finally, we will add cooked chicken to the mixture. That's it. Cook it for some time. Garnish with curry leaves. Our boneless chicken curry in Kerala style is ready. Enjoy it with a pim, putu or puree. 
Piri recipe we already shared. Hope you love this video. If so please press the like button and share it with your friends and relatives. We will meet again in our next video. Till then. Take care.